Doing okay? Good, my name's Andrew. I'm Matt. Matt, nice to meet you, buddy. If you could do me a favor, that's public property over there because it's the bus stop and everything, but this is a hindrance to our people leaving. So if you just- I can stand I here. Wanna, I want you to be safe and everyone else to be safe. So yeah, that's public property, but this is still private right here. So the appreciate Well, that. a public easement runs along this public road, I believe. And so I can walk along a public easement, even if it does go onto private property. It's like public easements exist so yes, that the public doesn't walk in the road and get hit by cars. Yeah, no, I, that's exactly right, and I appreciate that, but this is a driveway. Yeah. You gotta stand out of the driveway because it's dangerous. And we have elderly folks, man, that don't, that they get nervous when they get close to people. Well. So we just want, we just want you to be safe and then to be safe and not get nervous yeah. unnecessarily. So I appreciate, I appreciate you just stepping off to the side there, man. So I appreciate that. Public easements ex extend across uh, driveways as well. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, Try to hand people literature as they drive out. Yeah, well, I think the people just need to be uh, maybe left unmolested, and just we'd appreciate if you just let them go. Well, and I need uh, to reach them. Like, well, you know, I appreciate your heart on the matter and everything like that, man. But uh, we're just gonna let our people go and everything like that. And well, I'm uh, gonna try to give them literature. Okay. Yeah. That's. Would that's you like certainly one? you're right. I'm just asking not to, uh, you know, uh, uh, talk to the people as they leave. Just let them leave. If they well, I want to talk to you, them. If they want to come up to you and talk to you. Sir, I'd appreciate hey, sir, you not. Yeah, you're all, you're all right I'm actually, um, I'm on a public easement and I'm gonna try to reach people. I'm gonna try to hand them literature. Would you like one, ma'am? Babies need your help. I'm just saying, sir, sir, sir. Not, sir. It's not harassment. I'm not, well, here. well, this is a public easement and I have the right to be here. Yes, sir, you have a right to be here, but right now. This is a public easement. Right now you're harassing people. Would you like one, sir? You're harassing people, sir, who do not want to talk to you, sir. They just need you to back up. Well, how do you know that? Why would you assume that they don't want to talk to me? Because we saw you come in here and put your picture up. And guess yeah. what happened? The people from the church said, hey, they don't want to talk to you. Well, not so everybody we know, said that. So you don't we know, know that. that. Hey, sir, we know that here you're on public property like you talked about. But you could talk. That's not a problem. Can you please not harass? I'm not harassing anybody. Please don't use that word. I'm not doing anything to harass anyone. Well, you're giving literature to people who do not want it, sir. You don't know that they don't want it. Yes, not everybody at this church has told you that they don't want literature. How do you so know don't that? say that. How, How do I know that? that? Well, I'm pretty sure that's. It's very unlikely that every person here has told you that they don't want literature well, from me. Guess what you're doing? You're also being very aggressive. Standing in the way of people who are trying to leave. Well, I can stand in the driveway and, and they can drive past and I can offer them literature and there's no problem with that. So guess what? Guess where we are right now? This is where vehicles are allowed to come in. But right now, vehicles cannot come in. And guess what you're Would you like one, ma'am? Would you like one? <laughs> Babies are being murdered. They need your help. I... She's saying no. She's saying no. You see? So now we're blocking vehicles from leaving. I'm not blocking, blocking her. She can leave. She can leave. So you see what we're doing? And right now, because of what you're doing, right, you're slowing up traffic. See, you're slowing up traffic. So we need you to move this way, sir. We need you to move this way. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, she can see. She can see fine. Like, the fact that you're all standing out here makes it worse. Like, if I, you just if you just leave me alone, there's yeah, no blocking, but you guys are standing here. We, we are very much anti-abortion. I don't understand why you're, you're even here. Shouldn't you be someplace, you know, well, like, the, like the, the clinic down in Waldorf? Why, do, you why guys, you do you guys go to the clinic? Do you guys go to the killing facility? Does it, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me to go there if you don't go there yourself. Well, I don't understand. You're wasting your time here because we are on your side. Why would you be doing what you're doing? Well, you're not on my side. Actually, like, we are. Because, I mean, I, because, like, I talked to a guy here, and he, he indicated that you guys are not doing... The kind of things that I think need to be done. So, you're not. I mean, I mean, you're you're not on my side if you're trying to block me okay. from. I'm, I'm trying to like you from give to literature out. People leaving, people are trying to leave to go home. They have lives. They have jobs. They have to go to. Would you like one, ma'am? See, this is this is a problem. You see, and now you're she cannot see. Now she's no, you're you're creating the problem. There's no problem. You're creating the problem. There's no problem. She's intimidated by you. If it's going to it's going to be on you. Well, no, it's probably going to be on the people who are like standing out here trying to block me. You know, there doesn't need to be all these, not, all these guys don't need to be out here. No, I don't. This is a public easement, sir. It's a public easement. And I have the right to be in a driveway because it's a public easement. Would you like one, sir?
Would you like one? See, somebody's gonna get hurt, somebody's gonna get hit, you know. I, I don't understand why you're doing this. Well, most pro-life people are not living like children are being mass murdered and they need to be exhorted. They need to be exhorted to love and good works like the Bible tells us. Would you like one? Do you go to the abortion facility, sir? Do you? Do you go there? Are you going to tell me to go there, but you're not going to go there yourself? Do you go there? You're, you're doing oh, this, right? Our work, we do it in the church. Well, you need to do it out in the streets. That's the problem. That's why okay, That's well, why you're why not doing... Why do you do come to a church? <laughs> because need, people aren't going to the streets. You need to go to the abortion clinic. Well, no, you need to. That's why I need to be here, because people like... People, my, people like there. the people who go to this church don't go to the abortion clinic. That's why I need to be here. You need to go to the abortion clinic. Time out. You don't know who's going where. Yeah, I don't. You don't know who's going where. I don't. It's been. You're saying, oh, you guys don't do this. Well, I talked to him. I talked to the security guy here, and he said that your church doesn't do this kind of, kind of thing. So, I just talked to him. I don't know who you talked to. You think he's the guy in the black car who's driving around pulling security? Okay, so oh, so he must. That means nobody, like ever, because we're all just mindless people. So we all do the same thing. No, I'm not saying everybody well, here you, is doing the same you, thing. Yeah, but, you, but it's very likely a lot of people aren't. It's very likely. Yeah. That a lot of people aren't. So you really don't. I'm just saying you don't really know. You're saying, oh, you guys don't do this, and you just don't know, man. Well, I just you talked just to that guy, and he and uh, and he, he didn't say that he goes to the facility, but he told me to go to the abortion Can clinic. I go to abortion clinics, okay? But I, okay, that's great. but and I and I'm but you're right. No, I, and I'm course. challenging him on, gone, hey, if you're gonna tell me to do it, you'd better do it too. You know? I have gone to the abortion clinic, the one in Waldorf, okay. I've gone to the one down in Salisbury, Maryland. I've gone to Okay, the that's good. But, but you need to do it often. We do do things like that, but we don't do it as a church body. We do it on okay. our own. Okay, well, I, and, that's, and, what, that's what needs to happen. I think well, the church body should do that. Opinion, you know, and, and, well, it's and, needed. We need thousands of people out there. But all you're doing here is, is you're, you're pushing people away. You're not drawing people in by this action right here. Well, that's your yeah. assumption. I mean, I don't have to okay, push sure. people away. You don't have to make a big deal about it. You could just let me stand out here and hand cards to people. Well, you don't have to make you, a big deal about you're not, it. You're not going to have. You're not going to do that, man. We don't know you. What's wrong with that? It doesn't matter. Like you don't have you to don't know have, me. Have, yeah, oh, we, we have. Do. Hang on, time. We have moms with little children in there in the cars, and some man we don't know. You may be the greatest guy in the world. I don't know. We don't know. Is walking up to a lady leaving our church, and she's got babies in the back. And you think we're just going to sit back and not knowing you? Dude, one elbow, the window's down. Five seconds. You're, you're really? No, I don't know. I okay, don't know. well, you're trying to get me to, like, not stand in the driveway and hand carts to people. If you see me attack somebody, then sure, attack me and, and tackle me. But but I'm not attacking anybody. I'm handing out cards. I'm here to save babies. And it's pretty obvious what I'm doing. Okay? Like, there's no reason to harass me like this and try to, like, move me off of a place where I have the right to stand. I have the right to be on a public easement. You do not have a right to obstruct traffic and to stand in the way. I'm not obstructing traffic. you are. No, I'm not. You're, you're standing in the way of people from seeing traffic as they're coming out on a busy street. No, they can see the traffic perfectly. Perfectly fine with me standing there. See, I, Dude, love your, I love your passion. I just think it's directed in the wrong direction. No. We, we, we kind of are on the same side here, but you're, you're doing it on, on a, at a church. We, you should be going someplace else that, that, no, that doesn't see No, because it. Yes. the people who go to church are not g doing what they need to be doing. That's, That's why I need to come here. Why? No, why I see the that? fruit of it, sir. I see, I go to the killing facilities. I don't see thousands of Christians out there trying to stop it. You don't? I see a very few Christians. I see small numbers of Christians. And so there's tons of there's tons of people who go to church, who sing songs to God, who call themselves Christians, but they're not living like children are being massacred in their community. They're not living with a sense of urgency. They're not trying to rescue people from death like Proverbs 24, 11 commands us to do. They're sleeping in their beds on Saturday morning when children are having their arms and legs torn off. And so they need to be exhorted. They need to be woken up. And that, that should be obvious. Like, if that's not obvious to you, then you're not thinking correctly. And that's a, and that's another reason why I need to be here. Okay. Yeah. The thing is, is that it is obvious, okay? You actually, I'm not going to tell you all what this church does, man. But I have given personally, uh, well, probably on average, people in this church, the staff of this church, give 100 to 200 hours every week for this cause right here. Doing what? I'm not going to say on camera what we do. Why not? Okay. Are you ashamed of it? No, 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 no. There's a reason, though, I can't say it. Okay. But I will say we're in different places doing very substantial things. And we do it out of free, but we don't advertise it and we won't. Because if we do, it, the doors are shut. Okay? You turn off the camera, I'll tell you. The camera's on, I can't tell you. It's just the way it is. But, um, so anyways, 
but I'm saying it's just an assumption that you're making. And it's a it's a perfectly listen, no, educated here's assumption. Listening to you, okay? Well, you don't know because, that because yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because here's the thing: is that everyone here knows this. You just don't know if you just would have asked. So when, yeah, you asked the security guy here, but we do we do this and hold these signs? Have we done that this week? No. Okay. Yeah, and but that needs to be done. <laughs> that needs to be done. It doesn't. But that's our choice, and that's the individual's choice yeah. of doing that. Yeah. What I'm saying is you're not the person to reach them, and this is not the well, way I am. to reach them here. I'm a believer. I'm supposed to exhort believers to love and good works, right? So I need yeah. to tell people, hey, this needs to happen. There's certain methods that need to be used to be effective then, in the in the battle to abolish abortion. Okay, and that's fine that you believe that, and that's fine that you do that, and I commend you for that, right? But this is not the method to do it. Yeah, it is. Not, not it's a perfectly fine method. It's okay. just, it's just for some reason, you have a problem with it. For some reason, I have but there's no reason to have a problem with it. There's no, there's there nothing is, wrong with it. There is a reason to have a problem with it. Okay. No. Nope. You're here obstructing traffic. That is a problem. I'm not obstructing traffic. You're okay. Not now. Not now. Were. No, I wasn't. In the oh, middle. Absolutely, you were. Hello. How you doing, man? So, um, they're they're accusing me of obstructing traffic yeah. when I when I was out there in the driveway. That's a public hey, easement. My name's Andrew. I'm one of the assistant pastors here at the end of our service. Uh, this gentleman, what was your name again? I forgot. I asked Matt. Him. Matt. I'm sorry, I forgot. I asked. Matt was out here, standing in the middle of the driveway. With signs on his speaker phone. Well, Matt, what I'm mainly here is what's going on here now. He's no longer there. So what do you want him to do? Okay. I just want him to stop. He kept trying to go out in the traffic as people were trying to pull out left turns, and he was going up to the cars with a sign. We were trying to hand information to people. We don't know who he is. He's coming into our driveway, so he's off the side now. We got him off the side. So that's fine if he's off the side. We don't have a problem with it. But he was out in the middle. People were trying to make left-hand turns. We have two. We have three lanes here: one coming in, two going out, and we were down to one lane. We got back, back, back. See? We're would you like one, ma'am? It's a card. These babies need your help. Uh, sir, sir, do me a favor, please. Do me a favor. Is there any way you can stay right there? If they want your information, they kindly come to you. But right now, you being a danger for yourself and other people. I don't think I am. No, 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 no. But being in the middle. I don't think I am being a danger because people can drive in there and people can drive out right there. Babe, you can be on that side or on the other side. But I can't reach people very effectively if I'm on that side okay, or the other no, side. No, this well, is the best many, way to reach let people. Me how many of those gigs? Let me have that. Do me a favor. You can stand there. I can help you with that safely. I what don't are you, you, what are you saying? I don't want you in the middle. What are you going to do if I don't move out of the middle? Oh, come on now. I'm not trying no, to get no, arrested. No, 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 come on. Come on. Just, oh, you I just want, want, want to make sure. That's fine. Okay. You want to go there, that's fine. Because if you're a danger to yourself, we will have you transported to be evaluated. Okay, I don't want to because be arrested. That, that, I'm just trying to make sure. You can just go and stand uh, on the side of the road. So you're going to arrest me no, if no, I stand no, here? No, no, no. Listen to me. Listen, I just mentioned. If, you're, I, I, if I deem that you're a danger to yourself, to other people, I'm going to have you evaluated. That's the main reason why you shouldn't be in the middle while people drive it. Well, I'm not, I'm not in... Inside. No, 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 listen to me. I'm not, in a... I'm not endangering anybody, ma'am. No, 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 you are, but standing here, sir. You see them driving past me? I'm I, not endangering I, them. I, I, sir, even me here, I don't feel safe being in the middle. This is meant for people to drive to. Because you have your backs to them, but I'm uh, facing no, no, listen them. To me. Listen, listen, listen. You can be on the side. And we can just tell those folks why right they say, hey, that gentleman has some information for you. Feel free to stop by and get some from me. They don't need his information. So, so you're okay. going to arrest me if I, no, no, if no, I don't no, move no, out? No, 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 listen to me. I made myself clear. We uh, don't, are you going to arrest no, me? No, no, no. We don't, no, we don't want to go, go there. Uh, However, yeah, do me a favor. You can just be on the side of the road. You can't be in the middle. So again, why, don't, why don't you just why don't you just tell me what you're gonna do if I do stand in the middle? I'll explain to you. If I deem that you're a danger to yourself or others, by just being in the middle here, this is for you, uh, uh, vehicles, not for people. We be glad. I mean, we just have be glad you to, you're standing there. You just fine right there. Children, children are scheduled for murder this week. Here you go. Here you go, sir. Here you go. This week, you could keep it. I'm not gonna take it. This week, little boys and girls are scheduled to be murdered in this community. And are people really acting like mass murder is about to happen? 
are the people of this institution going out to the abortion facilities to be a voice for the children? Are the people of this institution... Yeah, you can't do that. Are any of you going out to publicly proclaim the gospel to thousands of people on a regular basis? Is anybody at this institution going out to the public to educate them? Multitudes of people who need to be educated about the fact that people are created in the image of God. What is the appropriate response when you live in a community that thinks that it's okay to murder babies? What is the appropriate response when you live in a community that dehumanizes and destroys children, massacring them inside killing centers? What is the appropriate response? Is the appropriate response to sleep in on Saturday morning when children nearby are being torn limb from limb and sucked into little pieces with a vacuum hose? What is the, pro what is the appropriate response? The appropriate response is to be a loud voice for them. A loud, loud voice day after day. Because they're getting mass murdered day after day. Oh, Christians, they'll, they'll have a lot of urgency when born people are mass murdered. But when it's pre-born people, now there's not as much urgency about it. Now people don't care as much. That's called discrimination based on age. That's called ageism. And it is rampant in American churches. What is this church going to do about the IVF genocide? What is this church going to do about the hormonal birth control epidemic? What are these people going to do for the children who are frozen in liquid nitrogen? The children who are trafficked through IVF? What is this church going to do about the in vitro fertilization genocide that is going on in this nation. What steps, what practical steps is this church taking to abolish abortion and criminalize it as murder?